5G has been slowly rolling out. The jump from 3G to 4G may have not seemed like a big deal, but the jump from 4G to 5G is going to be huge. Not only will cell phones and gaming benefit from no latency and 100 times the download speeds and connectivity, but every other industry will benefit as well. The ability to move massive amounts of data in a matter of seconds will speed up technological advancements 100 times fold. From AI, virtual and augmented reality, automotive, medical, and any industry that involves technology will see a amazing changes in every aspect of their businesses. By 2035, 5G will enable $13 trillion of global economic output, and I for one would like to get a piece of that 5G pie. Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host Ben, and this is my top five list for 5G stocks in 2020. Coming in at number five, we have AMAT, Applied Materials, and this company is the world's largest vendor of semiconductor equipment and services. So instead of looking at Verizon Wireless or AT&T, looking at companies where they're going to make some money off of cell phones, we're actually going to look at companies that are going to be the driving force behind 5G, and Applied Materials is most likely going to be one of those. You can see over the past you know, six or seven years, it's been on a nice uptrend, really started exploding with the 5G starting to roll out. We're still a ways away from 5G really going full force in the markets and changing industries. So there's probably a lot of opportunity for growth with this company. And you can see they've paid a dividend. They've paid this dividend consistently uh, since 2006. They've only missed like one dividend payment. And right now it's about 21 cents per quarter as far as the dividend payment goes. Now, after looking at the balance sheet, some of the key statistics that I noticed was they have $4 billion in cash and they have $6 billion in debt. So they have a pretty good amount of cash that could cover most of that debt, but an even better number that they had was levered free cash flow. And that came around a little over $2 billion. So levered free cash flow is the amount that they're making after all their financial obligations are met. So to me, it looks like they're pretty financially stable and you can pick this bad boy up right now for around $54. Now, a lot of investors may be surprised to see Qualcomm come in so low on my list at number four, but there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. Qualcomm is leading the way for 5G, and they stand to make a whole ton of money. They've already signed a deal with Apple. After looking at Qualcomm's balance sheet, they've got about $10 billion in cash, about $17 billion in debt, so they have a little more debt than I would like but they do have a levered free cash flow that comes in around 4.5 billion. So they're able to handle all their financial obligations and bring in some nice profits. They do pay a dividend. They've been paying it consistently for a very long time. It's a quarterly dividend right now around 50 to 60 cents, depending on the price of the stock. And you can pick the stock up right now for about $78. The reason why it's coming in so low is because Qualcomm has had a history of lawsuits against them, including Apple. They were able to work things out with Apple, but the way that they do their royalties on the, on the equipment and services that they sell to these phone companies, a lot of those phone companies want to sue them because it's kind of monopolistic. Don't know if that's a word for sure, but I like the sound of it. But anyway, they operate kind of like a monopoly. The lawsuits are concerning to me, but they're a strong company. They've got plenty of money to probably handle any type of illegal snags like that. But just because there is that little slight concern, it does come in lower on my list. Number three on the list, XLNX, and this company is a leading supplier of 5G devices, boards, hardware, and software over multiple industries, including aerospace and defense, medical, automotive, and industrial, just to name a few. They've paid a dividend pretty consistently. It's a quarterly dividend around about 37 cents, depending on the price of the stock. And you can pick this guy up right now for around $87. Now looking at their balance sheet, they have about 2.3 billion in cash and only 1.3 billion in debt. So they have plenty of cash to wipe out their debt if they wanted to, and then some. So the company's strong, it's stable. They've been on a nice uptrend 
consistent dividends, everything about this company I like. I think it's a great pick and one you definitely want to check out. Rolling in at number two is CSCO, Cisco Systems, and this company develops and manufactures telecommunication equipment as well as a whole slew of other products. After taking a look at their balance sheet, this company has a whopping $27 billion in cash, $17 billion in debt, and $11 billion in levered free cash flow. So they have plenty of cash flowing in, and with 5G rolling out, that cash is only going to multiply. And as you can see, they've paid a dividend consistently since about 2011. It's another quarterly dividend, and you can pick this bad boy up right now for $45 a share. Standing tall above all the rest at number one is Skywork Solutions, and I don't think any investor can argue with this. As you can see, since 2009 right here, this company has had explosive growth exploding from around $7.53 a share all the way up to $128 high, and there's a reason for this. This company's balance sheet is gold. They have over $1 billion in cash and only $172 million in debt. They also have $730 million in levered free cash flow, so their debt is nothing. And they started paying the dividend around 2014, and they've paid it pretty consistently since then. And barring anything disastrous happens, this company will continue to climb and so will that dividend. This company focuses on amplifiers, front-end nodules, and RF products for handsets and wireless infrastructure equipment. The stock is over $100, it's currently trading around $117, but the company is too strong not to be on this list and not to be at number one. Now there are some honorable mentions that are worth checking out and the first one you want to take a look at is Corvo. This is ticker symbol QRVO. They're playing a pretty big part in the 5G rollout as well, but they don't pay a dividend and they're over $100 so that's why they didn't make the list. Crown Castle, ticker symbol CCI is a REIT. If you don't know what a REIT is, it's a real estate investment trust, but they invest in real estate and they have to pay most of their income back to their shareholders. So these usually lead to very big dividend yields. And this company is a US based company and they own a lot of the cell towers that the companies use. They have to rent those cell towers out from somebody and most likely it's probably CCI. And you can see the stock has been going straight up since 2009 and they started paying a dividend about 2004. As the future of 5G continues to develop, this company's pockets as well as their shareholders pockets will probably continue to develop. As they don't have any products to worry about, all they have to do is sit back and collect rent from all the major phone carriers i think this would be a pretty solid pick now of course if you're looking for a more traditional 5g play verizon wireless would be my pick over at&t or any of the other companies they've paid a consistent dividend for a very long time they've been on a constant uptrend it's a pretty strong company and it's trading around 54 dollars a share right now if you're an investor who likes etfs there is one 5g etf and this is ticker symbol FIVG 5G. Huh? It's a very new ETF. It's only a year old. It doesn't pay any dividends yet. It's been going sideways, but as 5G explodes, I can imagine this ETF will explode right along with it. So if I missed a stock that you think should have been on this list, leave it in the comments below and let me know why it should be on this list. Don't forget to destroy that like button. And if you want to learn more about REITs, check out this video right here.